Good morning, this is Jeff with Sewer Tech Northwest. We're at 4340 Lakeview Boulevard here in Lake Oswego, located at the back of the house. I describe everything as if you're standing in the street facing the front door of the home. So about, well, you're maybe a third of the way in from the back left corner as you walk across the back of the house. <clears throat> I apologize for my hoarse voice here. Anyway, under a valve cover box, you, it's a circle valve cover box, you have a four inch ABS clean out. Check the overall condition and serviceability of the sanitary sewer line. Water is running. Off we go. And right out of the gate, absolutely spotless clean flow line. That is exactly how you want your line to look right there. And that is made possible by essentially one living habit, and that is not putting cooking oil, fats in general, down your kitchen sink drain. This is a household that looks like they've never even thought about putting a drop of bacon grease down the sink. It's like brand new, never lived in clean. And that's the number one thing that gunks your pipes up over time and it's responsible for more blockages than about anything you can do to your sewer. It makes your line much less forgiving to abusive items when those do go down the line occasionally. It's a, it's a good, good habit to keep up on. Now normally I locate the camera head at the main. A lot of these lines go out to the middle of the lake, to a main that's out in the lake. <clears throat> so the least what I'll be able to potentially do is locate about where the line crosses in the lake. on going now I just turned on I think five sinks to get water volume ramped up I'm hoping we can make it all the way out there it's a very long line Get into some cast iron pipe. Talk about lucky. 
I just max my camera out exactly at the main lateral. I have about one foot of camera left. Amazing. I've been doing this 13 years. I've cameraed about 25,000 sewer lines. I've been lucky like that only a handful of times. That's amazing. Thus far, fantastic looking sewer line, especially being a 200 foot monster sewer line. It is a very rare thing to see a line graded this nicely out to 200 feet. Alrighty, located the camera head. So if you're standing here <clears throat> in the backyard with your back to the back of the house facing out to the lake, same orientation as if you're in the street facing the front door basically. Um, if you walk around the right side of the boathouse, you'll see a big huge concrete pillar sticking out of the water with a manhole cover in it. That's the, that's the sewer main that runs along the shoreline. Your line terminates just to the right of that manhole. And the line's almost done draining. I, I want a little bit of water running. This is such a long line, it's very rough on the camera to reel back through all that bone dry. Now this line is graded beautifully. All cobwebs there, none of that's roots. It's a very, very rare thing to have a line this long and essentially have zero standing water in it. This property's got some level of slope to it. That certainly helps. It kind of slopes towards the lake. Um, even in a circumstance like this, I expect to see pretty large bellies. <clears throat> Cast iron looks good for its age, all intact, has good flow, very clean too. And if you haven't figured it out already, my camera's upside down right now. All that water you're looking at there is moving water. I don't, I, I want to say I saw one rinky dink little spot with some standing water in it, but for a line this length, I don't even consider it an issue in any way, shape or form. I don't, I don't tend to freak out over bellies anyway. They're, they're something that's been very blown out of proportion, especially in plastic pipe. They rarely cause problems unless the line's abused pretty heavily. But the spot I saw, I expected to maybe be a foot or two long with maybe a quarter inch of water in it. Something hardly even worth talking about. But what it may have been is some, a scrap of toilet paper sitting in the line kind of damming the pipe up. Now, right there is a secondary clean out access. Those are under valve cover boxes as you make your way out to the, to the lake. By code, a line has to have them every 100 feet. I think this one has three clean outs actually. I believe I've counted three different tie ins in total. More access, the better. <clears throat> You want to be extra vigilant. I like stuff like flushable wipes. I am not a fan. They're they're just less a little less terrible than paper towels are for your sewer line. Um, lines that are this length are a little bit more prone to debris building up, especially if abusive items are put down line because your everything is traveling such a great distance. So it's it's a circumstance. And, and if you do have cast iron, especially which is a rougher pipe product. Um, you want to be extra good about not putting improper things down the line. These people have done a great job. All right, we're going to go ahead and flip the camera around and go backwards. Everything from the clean out to the main lateral is in good condition. Spotless clean has great flow. I could hardly nitpick that if I tried to. Going backwards under the house right now. Right about there is where we cross into the foundation. Line next down to three inch pipe. And we'll take this as far back as the line will let us go here. We'll hit a vertical here in just a moment when we start to go upstairs. That's it right there. 
that's as far as we go there. That's the that's the vent stack or the vertical pipe coming from up up uh, on the second or the upper floor. Amazing looking sewer line end to end. I, I rarely get to say that on a line this length. It's very rare. Beautifully installed line and treated very nicely by the homeowner too on top of that. Anyhow, sewer line is functioning properly at this time. That's a sewer line to be proud of there. Very nice looking line.